my favourite chilli. This is kind of a chilli con carne. We're going to start off with about a kilo of fine minced beef. Straight into your deep casserole pan, 28 centimetre flavour stone. It's cold, there's no heat under it at the moment. And we're just going to put a vigorous heat under this one. Now, because we're not using any oil, no lubrication, what we're going to do here is start browning off and frying and sealing our mince while we start chopping up some of our other ingredients. No chilli is a chilli without some serious heat. This is just one of those little bell peppers. I'm just going to slice this. I want you to be able to see this in your chilli so that you can actually eat round it, take it out if you don't want it, because there's a fair chunk of heat in these little babies. So if you don't want to chomp on one of them, it's easier if you leave them this big. We also have celery heart. And of the, two, of the whole onion, I want one cut in pieces, about a half a centimetre big. Once you start here a sizzle actually, you do need to get into your mince and give it a stir. So, the same with any mince dish, mash and stir and stir and mash. This is where the beauty of this sapphire non-stick coating really, really comes into its own. If you were to do this in any other pan, your mints would just turn black, not gorgeously brown like ours is because of the non-stick coating. The second half of the onion, I just want to slice into slices. Now, that's about it. All you need to keep doing now is sealing your mints. You want this to be completely browned all over before you move on. So stay with it and just keep stirring. My mince is fully browned, totally separated, and I've actually cooked it until it's dry. You will always get a moisture drop when you cook your mince like this. I like to cook it out completely. All we need to do now is take the mince from a nice large flavour stone. Because what we're going to do is fry off our aromatics and our spices. Not the hair on your ass. <laughs> so straight away slide in your chopped onion, your sliced onion, your celery, your chilli. And then we'll get the rest of our spices going. Luckily, I didn't use all of my dry rub from the barbecue ribs earlier. So whatever's left, straight on in. If you didn't happen to make that before you make my favourite chilli, that's all right. Um, you can just go in with smoked paprika. This is about a heaped teaspoon. You can add a little bit of cumin. I've got uh, about four jalapeno chi um, chilies. These are the ones out of the jar. Just chop them roughly. Three or four cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped. Now these, we want to soften down and get those spices right the way through. Oh, you know you're cooking your favourite chilli when you get that one. Oh. When it looks exactly like that, just lightly toasted spices and the veggies are just starting to soften, pour in about a glass of red wine. Let it boil. Hi, I'm James Reeson from Alive and Cooking. Whether we're in my kitchen or on some of Australia's most beautiful locations, I've always got easy to prepare recipes that anyone in the family can whip up. If you feel like trying one of my recipes, it's easy. Just log on to aliveandcooking.com.au for all the recipes and methods as seen on the show. If someone in the family could do with a bit of extra help in the kitchen, you can even order one of my DVDs or cookbooks to give them a hand. So, join me every weekday afternoon. I'll see you in the kitchen.